This is Roger with CrossCut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Long Bed, single rear wheel. It's a 6.8 liter V10. It's gas. It's two wheel drive. It's an XLT with leather and it has dual power front seats, which is pretty cool. It has 169,510 miles and uh, we bought it from Vaughn Chevrolet in Scottsdale. It was a trade into them. And it's just a freak show. <laughs> as far as like, I mean, either they were the most crazy anal people in the world or they're voodoo doctors or something <laughs> because it's just too pretty. Um, the auction gave it a 4.9 out of 5 for a 2004 with 169,000 miles. They never go above a three on any truck that's over a couple years old. This one, however, is amazing. Anyway, uh, we just got it here from Phoenix and uh, it didn't even need a car wash. I mean, this is, we didn't have to detail it or anything. This thing is all that. Now, I'm gonna walk around it. I'll show you the truck, we'll go on a ride. I'm gonna tell you right now that I think that there was a little insurance fraud involved here because the previous owner, uh, I think that they, I don't know what happened to this truck, but the auto check shows it was in an accident in Scottsdale, right and left and front end. Okay, I do this for a living, <laughs> and the auction does it for a living, and they said nothing about any paintwork in the inspection at the auction, and they're very good at that. They use meters and everything. There is no paintwork on this truck, and they didn't replace parts because. It has all of its original parts um, inside of it, uh, under the hood, like uh, the uh, uh, fenders are original, the hood's original. The only thing I can see that's not original, it looks like the grill and the bumper and the headlights are, are um, newer. I'm going to start it right now. 169,511 miles. Um, and this truck, if you put a gun to my head and said, how many miles does this thing have? I would have said, if one of my choices, what I could say under 50,000, that's what I would have said. But if they would have said a choice was under 30,000, I would have said yes. See, there's your Ford. Let's see how the, the paint is like naturally, you know, from being old. This is an original fender and this is not paint work. Original door, not something tells me either the insurance screwed up and reported the wrong stuff to the to, to auto check or there was a scam going on here because this thing it's got all the stickers where they belong all the stickers see how you have the Ford stamp there and then you got the Ford stamp here whenever these parts get wrecked they replace them with aftermarket parts these are really expensive to get the Ford stamp, Ford parts, and all these, you know, and then paint them, it's a fortune. So, yeah, this is amazing. This truck is really amazing. I also put it up in there and I just washed the undercarriage, so I want to take a good look at it. And uh, my garage is still clean, which never happens after I put a truck up there. Usually I have to pressure spray all the concrete. And not today, because there was nothing under there. Um, another interesting feature, you can see these are brand new Michelins I mean they just put Michelins on this thing got four brand new Michelins I mean 400 bucks a whack it's got, it's got $1,600 worth of tires just put on it it's crazy door locks um, let me go through some of this stuff real quick here so it was sold by Van Chevrolet to us at Crosscut on a green light okay this is this stuff is all in the ad by the way you can click on it and look at it at your leisure I mean, there's the van uh, van chevrolet 4.9 auto grade impossible no structural damage no prior paint that's what i think too i have no idea what was going on all they could find was there's a door ding on the passenger front door and three dings on the driver bedside which they note right here um here are the tires Michelin's and the tread depth brand new and all the stuff that it comes with here is the uh, auto check which I ran today 
Um, there's your VIN. It says accident damage. And they go bing, bing, bing. Zero evidence of it. So it was born in, in uh, looks like it was born in Chino Hills, also Tony. Surprise, Arizona, Scottsdale, Scottsdale. It says here 11020. Left side or repair reported, right side or repair reported, bumper reported, hood reported, grill reported. The hood's original, the fenders are original. I guess a grill and headlights look like they've been replaced and probably the bumper, but I think that's all that happened. I think what he did was he turned a little minor fender bender into a cash cow because he was gonna keep the truck from anyway, so he just wanted a big check. Anyway, look at the seats, beautiful forward back down up tilt up and down rear up and down this guy was an amazing owner <laughs> oh look we got a little fair in here we got a bunch of receipts in here manual um look at this thing what a freak show this truck is tripping me out I haven't seen something like this in a long time. All the power stuff works really fast. Usually by this time they're really slow, so at some point he's probably done all the mirrors and power motors and everything, at some point. Headliner looks great. Well, look at this. There's nothing, there's nothing there. Because there was nothing there. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. Even the tire, the spare looks brand new. I'm trying to find the ding on the back of the, on the side of the tail, on the, on the bed. I don't even see that. I don't even see a ding on the bedside. This is crazy. I love this thing. I love this thing. What a trip. Window, look how fast the motors are. Windshield has nothing going on. Mirror out, in, down, up. Other side out, in, up, and down. Tilt wheel. Power seat forward. Look how fast it's going. Just weird. It's like this thing's possessed. Back. Let's see, I had it all the way up. So we'll go down and we'll go up. Alright, tilt up, tilt down, rear up. Well, let me go down first. Down and then up. Haha! -ha. I found something. There you go. The rear tilt button. It needs a new button one new one of these switches. Interesting. But actually all you have to really do with these, because I've learned a trick, is put this tilt down and then up, and then you're good to go. So anyway, there you go. The uh, power switches on these things, by the way, fail really fast. It's very annoying. I had to replace them on all these Ford trucks. I've had them on 30,000 mile trucks to do that. But because it happens so often, they're cheap. They're like 40 bucks. So anyway, you've got a couple USB plugs that you put in the dash, which is kind of custom. And uh, aftermarket CD player, obviously. USB. What else we got? Boom. Looks like you got some sort of a brake. Oh, you got a trailer brake here. You got power pedals right here. Up, down. Overdrive off and on. All right, let's go. Go like this. Let's drive. Put it in reverse. You can see it. First. We're gonna take it out on I-10 here. I just want to see it perform on on the interstate. 
This is a beautiful truck. Man, oh man. How quiet it is. And I've had it running almost all morning. I just had it idling because I like to let them idle for a long time and check them out. This thing is ridiculous. Man, I'm doing like 70 on this side street. Oops. How to get a ticket. Anyway, all right, let's get to business here. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Once we receive the wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope uh, that we mail it in. You'll have it shipped to you. Um, obviously, the mail will show up before the truck, but once the truck shows up, you'll take your title from the mail and the truck to motor vehicles and go get plates. It's very simple, okay? Um, let's see. I gotta get this seat moved back a little bit. There we go. All right. Now, now I'm a little comfy. Um, let's see. If you need help with shipping, let me know at the time of purchase. I can uh, wrap the uh, price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle, and uh, so you just pay for one time for the shipping and the truck. Um, and I'll get it done. Um, if you're good at shipping and you want to do it yourself, you're welcome to, all right? But uh, most people want to get their vehicles quickly. I'm pretty good at it. And uh, if you need help, uh, let me know, all right? Deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Um, there's a gentleman right now who, he, who knows this thing's not online yet, and he's all over it. He wants to buy several vehicles from us at once. And... Uh, I'm just not sure if he wants to buy that many. Um, and he hasn't seen a video yet. Um, and he's he's in El Paso. And we just had to tell him about it. So we're gonna post this thing and who knows what'll happen. But um, it's kind of one of the craziest trucks I've ever been in. Uh, vehicles, car included. Um, super clean, super quiet. I mean, somebody just spent a fortune on Michelin's on it. Um, the auction inspection, uh, along with me, I'm, we're both very good at this. The inspectors at the auction and me, we're good. Uh, there's no paintwork and there's no structural damage. And uh, so, anyway, we're out on I 10 right now. This is, uh, we just got off of, uh, what is it? Um, Prince Road, uh, and we're going towards Ruthroff, and we'll get off on Ruthroff. I just want people to see it driving. We're doing, we're passing people here. We're doing about what, 75 in a 65, and uh, this thing runs like like a brand new car, a nice car. <laughs> uh, wow. Anyway, last part of every video, I have to say this, so I'm going to say this on this one also, because if I don't, then I jinx myself, I'm sure. Um, we don't have salesmen with a bottle, you know, we don't have salesmen to pay commissions to. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy location. You saw where we started. Um, it's me and my brother, so we don't have a lot of overhead. Um, the auto mall, when they sell a vehicle like this, they, uh, they, uh, have to crush you because they have to pay for all that stuff you know they have people serving scones and lattes at some of these dealerships they have to pay for that the way they pay for it is by crushing you when they sell you something but they also know that when they crush you if something's wrong with the vehicle you're gonna bring it back and say you know I paid you know seventeen thousand dollars for that truck I want it perfect and they're gonna have to fix it all right well we do the opposite what we do is we give you all the money up front, all the savings we can possibly afford to give you so that you will be very comfortable saying, oh my gosh, well, window motor broke or, you know, the AC broke, which by the way, the AC is working great in this truck. Um, but uh, in fact, you know what? Before I continue babbling, I'm gonna turn it to heater, make sure that we have a heater because we had a surprise a couple years ago where the heater didn't work for somebody and we didn't like that. And it's already hot so the answer is of course it works because this is that truck all right heaters now off and it works good um anyway 
the bottom line is we're giving you money up front we're not slamming you so we expect you to be the owner on day one we don't have enough uh, people me and my brother and we didn't make enough money on this truck to fix your truck for you after you bought it okay so um, please read please ugh, please realize that's how we operate we can't do it if we don't do it that way okay uh, it would be pretty easy to charge people a lot more money and you know maybe throw a warranty in but we like to let you own your car and do your own thing and uh, just give you the straight scoop and give you the you know good news bad news It'd be really easy to do a video without an auto check in it I wish I could because I think that auto check is retarded uh, is that not PC oh, never mind whatever I said retarded <laughs> Anyway, maybe I'll misgender somebody in a video. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to run these people over because if I run these people over, they're going to live better than I live, which is not a good thing. Anyway, um, what else? Anyway, so now you know how we operate. Sometimes I make it back to the yard. Sometimes I don't. These videos can only be 17 minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, that's what the uh, SD card calls for on the GoPro that we're using. And so, that's what I'm doing. All right, and I think it's so, uh, what are we at here? We're at 1652, so you're gonna say goodbye to me here in a second. But what I don't wanna do is wreck this pretty truck. That would be terrible. Terrible, there we go. Anyway, uh, awesome truck, love it. I think that uh, whoever owns this is going to be a very, 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 very happy person, okay? A couple days before New Year's. Weather's gorgeous in Tucson right now. It's like, it's like 76 right now. Just perfect. Passing school. Anyway, 17 minutes and 20 seconds, so I'm going to make it up to this four-way stop, and I'm going to have to say goodbye, I think. Anyway, uh, now we're at 169,516 miles, so we went a couple miles. Anyway, I think that's about it.